it's been almost a quarter of a century since the very first Santa Fe was introduced. 24 years later, we're standing here beside the fifth generation Santa Fe. And I gotta tell you, it is a huge departure from what it was before. It was like comparing it to a donut in the 50s to the cronut of today. Or like, better yet, me with long hair and then today. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking either. But here it is, folks. It's longer, it's wider, it's boxier, it's definitely more mature, and it's got a heckle of a lot of stuff inside that I wanna take you through. And the prices, I'll get to that. But first, let's talk about the exterior. Look at the front clip. There are copious amounts of letter H's that can be found. An H here, an H here, the entire thing is an H. These are all, by the way, lights, much like you would find on the Stargazer or the Staria. It's like cubes and whatnot, and it looks really, really great. These are your headlamps here. No fog lamps, as we can tell below, because these lights are intelligent enough. All the new Santa Fe's carry a 2.5 liter gasoline powered engine. But here in the calligraphy, you have a turbocharged 2.5 liter, which produces a whopping 277 horses and 421 Newton meters of torque, mated to an eight speed DCT. And it's also got an all wheel drive system. The mid variant and the lower variant, again, carry the 2.5 liter, but they are naturally aspirated. And of course, the transmission will change because those guys carry an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, while we're on the subject of numbers, I might as well tell you its price. The Santa Fe starts at 2,400 and what is it, Jack? 10? 2,410,000 Philippine pesos. But for this calligraphy variant, the top of the line variant, this comes in at 3,100,000 Philippine pesos. That is the top of the line, but I have something else to add at the end of the video, so stick around. Let's continue with the exterior, shall we? Beautiful matte wheels that are 21 inches that are found on the calligraphy, and those that are the lower variants will be 20 inches. You've got a really, really broad side. I love it, looks very, very mature. The wheels are very flushed to the car itself. They're very flat. The overhangs uh, are very, very minimal, which means like it can really get some, some form of four x four off-roading kind of a thing. There's also the option uh, here on the C pillar, if you need a little help putting stuff on top or getting up on top, this thing opens such such, so you can bring yourself up and load everything that you need up there. That's actually pretty nifty. Don't worry, you can lock it so that a lot of people don't mess around with the car too much. So that's that. Large windows, really, really large windows. There's a reason for this, okay? There's a reason for these large windows and I'll show you that a little bit later. Here at the rear, the door is much, much wider than the previous generation because they've accomplished this because the lights aren't on the body of the car. They're actually on the door power tailgate, of course, opener up, and you are looking at over 700 liters of space, which is great enough to carry four Balik Bayan boxes. And then of course, when you fold the second row, you're looking at over 1,100 liters of space, really lots and lots of space. Now, why earlier I mentioned that these windows are very, very important, it's because the Santa Fe is a seven seater. You got a seat here, and a seat here. Now back here, you're looking at a little under 300 liters of space, even if you add this small little part down here, which by the way, hides the tonneau for the back. But I'm excited because now I wanna go inside and show you what the third row feels like. With the press of a button, that's all you gotta do. Moves forward, get yourself into the rear seat. Space isn't anything great, as you can tell that my legs are pretty high up and my knees are closer to my chest, but you can fit two medium to small size adults back here, which have amenities such as bottle holders on either side, charging points for each one, and it's type C too. And then you have controls for your air vents, which come out through the side. But again, the space isn't anything great, so long as, well, the person up front is like not being generous if it's like Jack or Earl that's sitting up there, and they're never really generous to me. But if they are, then you will have a little bit of space for yourself. And of course, the amenities to keep you uh, company there. Let's get to the second row. In the second row, they may not be captain's chairs, but you are pretty spoiled, I gotta tell you. First, the leg room, quite large there. 
large again there. So is the pane of glass that you have up here for the rear passengers. Toys back here, there are a lot. You have parcel hooks directly in front of you. And plus, as the rear passenger, you can move the front chair with buttons here to increase your space. You've got Type-C charging points again here and here. All the charging points inside this car are all Type-C. It's ridiculous. You've got a glove box or a center console box here that is good for the front passengers and the rear passengers because it rocks on both sides. You can open it from either the rear or the front. You've got a huge storage bin found here. Not cool though, but at least it's a large enough bin to hide almost anything. I can probably fit my foot in there if I really wanted to. Uh, the seats, good leather. Lots of leather H's that can be found on the leather too. You have a center armrest with two cup holders. Your air vents are not found in the center. They're actually here on the door. Kind of reminiscent of a Volvo. And then cup holders up on top, powered windows, of course, and then your privacy shade. Huh? I think you're really spoiled back here. I would love to take a trip with this car with Jack driving and me asleep for like seven hours. Hey, Jack, you want to go to Baguio? Sure. Uy, puede. Now, um, front, oh yeah, spoiled for sure. First of all, the dash, not too high. I like it. It's, it actually kind of comes down and the good textures on the dash are found here. Uh, they're soft, they're not plasticky, which means premium for me. Uh, the screens are fantastic. This is a 12.3 inch screen infotainment system. This is another 12.3 inch screen and it's huge and it's got curves to it, which I really, really like. This is a fingerprint sensor, which can change the drive modes of the car for now because it doesn't have the technology yet or we don't have the service yet where you can start your car from your phone kind of a thing. But we don't know how soon or how late that, uh, that particular kind of technology will eventually hit the Philippines. You have your air controls found here on the center. Lots more charging places. You have not one, but two wireless charging pads. Look at that. You have type C's. There are six type C charging points found all around this car. Huge bottle holders found here. And again, that rocking cover that I was talking about, which is actually pretty cool. And this is quite deep. More storage space can be found here. This is your glove box here. And then another cool feature, it's this pocket right here, or this compartment right here, because it does it look like a normal storage compartment, but when Jack puts his phone in, and then I close that, and I press this button right here, it says UVC. When I press that button, that actually uh, cleans that entire compartment with ultraviolet rays. That's, it sterilizes it. You've got a sterilizer inside the car. That is quite amazing, really. The steering wheel looks really, really good. Buttons on your left and on your right to control your drive modes and whatnot. And it also comes with a whole plethora of driver. A plethora, Jack. Sorry. It's TH. TH. A plethora. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, Paul. Sorry. A plethora of driver aids. Um, it also was able to save a lot of space, which is you can see that there's a really huge space here. It doesn't have a stick here in the center. It's got a digital shifter that's on the column, similar to the Ionic 5. And then this is the first time I've ever seen this, okay? I'm in the driver's seat, but yet I can actually put out an Ottoman. It's just strange because this car has a relaxed function. Now, obviously you don't want to be able to do this while you're driving because that would be just really ridiculous, but it would be like better if you were like, let's say for example, waiting on Jack who's taking forever to get out of the house and we're out late for a shoot already and I'm dying inside the car now because I'm bagal loco. I'm shaking my head behind the camera. He is, he's completely shaking his head. Okay, yeah. can you see the Ottoman? It's there. Ah, uh, Ottoman for the driver. So we've given you a very, very quick tour of the new Santa Fe. We've given you the prices of the Santa Fe and you'd think there isn't anything else that I could tell you. You'd be shocked because there is one other important thing I need to say. The last thing that I wanted to tell you guys, well, it's a pair of things actually. Number one is that customers have been clamoring for this car ever since we teased it back in December and they moved up the launch date from the 15th of March to today, March 8th. But the important thing is that Hyundai is so confident in what this car already is that they don't mind telling us to tell the public that a hybrid version is coming out later this year. Obviously, the price of that will differ, but they are so confident in what this is, they'll be like, yeah, sure, okay. Go ahead, tell them the hybrid's coming because this on its own is actually very darn good. 
head on over to autodeal.com.ph or try our app to get more information about the Santa Fe, whether it's prices, colors, you can try the get code button to see if you can get one as quickly as possible. Hope you guys subscribe to our videos and to our YouTube channel because pretty soon we're gonna take this out for a proper behind the wheel and we're gonna get it to test. See ya. Are you running out of words? I'm running out of words <laughs> and I'm dry. I'm, I've been drooling over this car since I don't know how long. I mean, look at it. It's really a, wow, it's a sight to behold. And the color is really good. No, 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 oh, we're still on? Yeah, we're it's really nice. Yeah.